Let's go, let's go, man. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, I want to talk about Thursday night football. Uh, not the game itself. Because I mean, I guess we can kind of talk about the Patriots and Jets. Kind of like a ten percent, you know, video about this. Ten percent chance we'll talk about that. But I want to talk about Thursday night football and why Thursday night football needs to be canceled. Thursday night football is a waste. Thursday night football sucks. Just from a human perspective for Thursday night football is an abomination. I don't watch Thursday night football. I haven't watched Thursday night football in years. Don't plan on doing it. The only time I watch Thursday night football is probably the first game of the season and maybe a Thanksgiving game. If I'm out somewhere, if I'm at home doing nothing, uh, I probably take a nap. I probably have it on my TV, but I'm not watching generally Thursday night football sucks. Dick. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. Just, you know, let, let, let's just go over the facts of uh, Thursday night football of the NFL. And just just another L for the NFL. L, L. That's what I'm about to start calling it. The, uh, the NFL for the LLL. Since I got it up here. Who in the hell wants to watch the Jets and the Patriots? This is not Tom Brady versus Joe Namath here. This is it. If Tom Brady was on the Patriots, fine. No one, if this was prime Aaron Rodgers, cool. Even though you could make the case he still has some of the left in the tank. Hell, if Belichick was on the Patriots, Belichick versus Aaron Rodgers, cool little storyline, fine. This is the J- Jacoby Percet, Jared, Jared uh, May versus the Aaron Rodgers, Nathaniel Hackett, Robert Sala Jets. Who in the hell wants to watch this? And granted, this might be a decent game. Because the Patriots could win because they kind of look good and the Jets are eh, eh. You know what I'm saying? But listen, bro. The Jets and Page. This just goes beyond Thursday night football. Thursday night football sucks. Okay. So let me get this straight. Uh the NFL, the Shield, the 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 the, the league that cares about player self, uh player safety, has these guys play Sunday, has them rest Monday and Tuesday, and on the Wednesday, has to go back on the road. Or has to be back in training, be back in shape to play another 60 minutes of football. But this doesn't get talked about because, you know, oh, it's more football. It's more football, RJ. There's nothing wrong with more football. BS. BS. This is a joke. This is a joke. Just from a human perspective, I don't want to see these guys playing Thursday or Friday night. Let them play Sundays and Mondays and call it a day. At least if you play Monday and you have to play Sunday, so what is that? So say, uh, who's playing Monday? The, the the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Bills play this m- Monday coming up. So you give Jacksonville and Buffalo, when they play Monday, you give them Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you give them at least four to five days. You give them at least four days to rest, and then Saturday be on the road. That's better than one to two days. The NFL that cares so much about player safety. Has these guys playing Thursday night football? Also, the football is beyond horrible. Besides the Chiefs and the Ravens, which is the first game, it's the first game of the year. Both these teams haven't played the week before. These games suck. They're either blowouts or they're close bad games. <laughs> they're either blowouts or they're close bad games, bro. Last week, the Bills backshotted the Dolphins, and we saw Tua get injured. And some of the Bills players got injured. Jalen, I think, didn't Jalen, no, Jalen Wall didn't get injured. But these guys get injured because they're still recovering from Sunday. Football is a contact sport. It is a contact sport, yet you have these guys playing Thursdays. If you're a human being and you support Thursday night football, I'm not going to say if you watch Thursday night football because that's not fair. Me personally, I boycott Thursday night football unless it's the first game of the year. Hell, even like Thanksgiving, unless I'm like out. For Thanksgiving with you know family, wherever the case may be. If I'm if I have no plans for thir- if I have no plans for Thanksgiving, I don't even watch Thursday night football. Cause I don't the Cowboys are gonna be on it. That's a cool bro. The, even the Thursday night games, the late the late game is trash. The early game with the Lions until the Lions got better this year were always trash. It was the Cowboys games that were always interesting. 
Like, but even with that, listen, as someone, you know, I'm going to bring up a personal story. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring up a personal story. Let me put this uh, player on the screen. Let me put this player on the screen right now. Uh, if I can spell his name right. I'm probably misspelling it right now, but, you know, it is what it is. No, not this one. Richard Sherman. There we go. Richard Sherman. Now, I know some of you, you know, shout out to TRL Awesome Kid. Don't like this guy, justifiably so. You know, he used to backshot your team all the time. But we're, and actually, this is a matter of fact, speaking of TRL and speaking of Awesome Kid, Richard Sherman, I remember that like it was yesterday. I was in high school. I think I was a junior. I think I was a junior. I th- yeah, I was a junior. Yep. Yep. I was a junior. Richard Sherman had one of his best games in his career against the New York Jets, uh, picked off Ryan Fitzpatrick three to four times. He, uh, hey, knock it off. Sorry, I'm talking to my dog. Uh, he picked off Richard, he picked off Ryan Fitzpatrick three to four times. He, you know, had like five, six tackles. He was going off on Sunday night. It was a, it was a Jets versus Seattle game, you know, where he was going off and, you know, he was just going off. They had to play the Cardinals that Thursday night. And I think the first couple of plays, plays Richard Sherman messes up his Achilles, essentially messing up his career. And I saw Richard Sherman. And, and by the way, for anybody that doesn't know, I played secondary when I played high school. I played I played safety. So I'm all about – so I love the Legion of Boom, the no-fly zone, all these teams. Dante Whitner, a.k.a. Dante Hittner for the uh, – 49ers. So I love secondary players. So Richard Sherman was my guy. But at the same time, I saw him at a press conference, tear, tears coming down his eyes. Sorry, guys. My dog's wild right now. Uh, knock it off. But I saw him at a press conference, literally, tears coming down his eyes. And he's saying, I want to play football. I can't. The reason why I can't is because I had I literally only had a day to rest from third from Sunday from one of my career games. Essentially, lo- essentially losing his career. Go watch that game. Go watch that week. He had one of his best weeks on Sunday, and then Thursday his career is over. He's Richard Sherman's never been the same. I think he got cut after Seattle. After that, he had a stench with the 49ers where he got injured again, and then. Honestly, was trash with the, uh, with the uh, 49ers. Let's be for real. Richard Sherman was trash with the 49ers. But I said I'd like to say this. This goes back to Thursday night football. Why do we need Thursday night football? I can understand it for kickoff. I can understand it, you know, if you want to have it for kickoff, whatever the case may be. Fine, cool. First game of the season. Those guys don't want to play the next Sunday. Whatever. Do we really need Thursday night football for, uh, what's the name? Do we really need it every single week besides and? The NFL being greedy, uh, mother mother effers. You know what I'm saying? Like this is beyond ridiculous. I hate Thursday night football. And even if you want to keep Thanksgiving Thursday night football, then just have like Thursday night football. If go talk to anybody that grew up in the '90s and the '80s, Thursday night football used to be a special treat. It used to be like, oh wow, we get. It used to be like, oh wow, we're getting more in one week. Now we're getting Monday. Thursday, Friday, Sunday. And if you watch college football, that's Saturday too. So the only days we're not getting football is Tuesday and Wednesday. And hell, they might make a Tuesday, Wednesday game soon. This game is, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Thursday night football is beyond horrible. And why you guys sit here and watch that horrible game between the Jets and the Patriots? Hell, it might be a good game. I don't know, nor do I care. I'm not watching. And also add in to the fact it's on Amazon. Amazon sucks. Jeff Bezos sucks. It is what it is. Thursday night football should be canceled. These players deserve better. And by the way, the NFL is going to be making millions on top of millions of dollars on Thursday night football, and the players won't even see $10 of it. It's BS. RJL.